I'm going to walk you through the ideal setup if I were teaching in the classroom today. So first thing I would do is turn on the power for your panel. Notice I am not signed into my board. I also am not signed into the browser. I'm going to hook up the Chromebook. So you have two cables here. You have the USB cable. We'll plug that in the side here. And you have your HDMI with this white adapter. If you don't have it, contact the tech office. On your board, we're going to ignore that little warning that comes up. You're going to click either the input button here or you have the input button right here. So I'm going to choose this one. It should say touch enabled for the one that has your Chromebook background. If it doesn't, just connect the other HDMI cable. So I'm going to tap this to go in. And notice it is not the same as my Chromebook because it's not mirroring right now. So I'm going to hold down Control and the key above the 5, which is the full screen mode, and that is going to mirror my screen. The benefits of this setup of having the Chromebook attached to the panel is your internet is twice as fast. I have my bookmarks right here. And the other cool thing that I really like is, let's say I have a lesson up here. I'm going to hit the pause or the freeze button right here. I'm going to go back to my Chromebook and I'm going to load up my Nearpod lesson and have it ready to go. And when I'm ready for the students to see it, I'm going to hit the pause or the freeze on either the remote or the panel, and it's going to go right to my lesson ready to go. Some other things I want to show you, this little mouse USB receiver, it might be plugged in the back or it might be plugged in the front. Since now we have our Chromebook connected to the panel, we want this to be plugged into the Chromebook. That allows me to take my wireless keyboard or mouse and I can move anywhere I want to in the room and control my screen. The last thing I want to show you is in order to use the smart panel pens and annotate over a page, we need the page marker set up. That's already been pushed out to all the teachers. We're going to click on this little puzzle piece. You're going to find page marker and hit the little push pin so it goes blue and now it shows up in my toolbar. So now I can click on it. I can change the color to whatever I want and then I can write with my hand or I can pick up the pen and write. If I want something else, I also have a highlighter. I can highlight, I can erase. If I want to erase everything, I hit the trash can. Or if I want to take a screenshot, I hit the little down arrow there. If you have any other questions or want additional training, please contact an ITR team.